Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So here we go, round four of the single greatest event in the history of this game. The effective category this time is Transformation Boost, and uh, there are actually a decent amount of effective attackers this time. I mean, obviously some of them are better than others, but there are quite a few units that you can use to clear this event within two turns and get all the mission rewards. But at the end of the day, Regardless of who you use or what strategy you use, it's still going to require a lot of luck, a lot of RNG, obviously a lot of patience, and uh, expect to do many, many resets because that's just how this event works and everybody loves it, right? So uh, we're going to jump into the tech stage here because the main attacker we're going to be using for this video is the Int EZA Wuhan. But like I said, you can go with other options like the Easy 8 Tech Cell is great. Um, who else? Oh, the uh, Easy 8 Int Buhan. Oh, wait, that's the one I'm using. And I've seen a lot of people use the Tech LR Broly. The Fizz Boo Tanks is also effective if you can get that additional super. And uh, I'm sure these guys, the LR Full Power Frieza and the Fizz Transforming Frieza, can get the job done. And who else? Oh, I've also seen somebody do it with this Fizz launch. Okay, now for her, I believe you need at least four super attacks and maybe a few crits in there as well. It's definitely possible. I've seen the videos, but uh, it's probably gonna be really, really hard. So once again, patience is key. Now let's put our Buhan back into the team and that's gonna be our full setup for this run. We've got the double candy Vegitos for their nuking leader skills. Buhan is the attacker. We have a couple supports in the Bukalo, the Int Vegeta and the Fizz Kid Boo. And then Trunks here is just an orb changer. Of course, the Int Vegeta also changes orbs, so he's ideal, but if you guys don't have him, then I would just replace him with another good support like AGL Turles or Int Metal Cooler, something like that. And uh, oh, also, if you don't have the Candy Vegito Fully Extremes The Awakened, then you can replace him with the STR Kid Goten right here, who gives 15% attack and defense per key sphere obtained. Now, he's not as good as the Candy Vegito, who gives 20%, but I know some people didn't have a chance to fully extremes the Awaken the Vegito, so uh, he's a, you know, decent substitute, okay? So there's the team, and in terms of the nuking item, you can use anything, but since I like to match the type of the item to the type of my attacker, we are going to be using the Monaka costume. Wait, is it Monaka? Monica? I feel like I always say that name wrong. It's been a while since I've heard somebody say it out loud, right? So uh, either way, this is the item we're going to go with. You can use the Candy Vegito, or sorry, the uh, Tapura Cookie. You can use the Lemo, the Chilai, or the uh, Takoyaki. It's totally up to you. So there we go. And let's jump in for the first attempt. Hopefully get some nice rotations here. Uh, that is actually really nice. Oh yeah, that is really, really nice. Now, unfortunately, we are missing the, um, you know, Bukalo, but we got double 50% supports with our Wuhan. So uh, yeah, this, this should be pretty good. Now, someone did tell me that I should just like reset the game as opposed to restarting the entire run every single time. I don't get good orb changes with my item. And I was like, that is totally correct, man. I should totally be doing that. It would save me so much time. I don't know why, actually, for the past couple of videos, the whole time I was just like restarting the entire thing and it just made no sense. So yeah, to save some time, we are just gonna be restarting the game every single time the uh, you know items don't work out for us. And eventually we can get a full board and uh, you know see if we can kill this Goku in one shot. So uh, yeah, let's start with this. We'll link up the two boos they share three links. Now, unfortunately, as you can see, my Buhan is not fully leveled up. If you have your Buhan at level 10 links, that's going to make a huge difference because big bad bosses will be activated and that's 25% attack and defense, right? But uh, yeah, I'm not going to be doing that for this video. So this will have to do. And now let's pop our Manaka costume. Okay. So we got a few orbs, not great. And yeah, that's how many, uh, 15 orbs, not terrible, but definitely not ideal. So we're going to reset the game and try again. Okay, so I'm stupid. And uh, when it said, do you want to resume your previous game? I accidentally clicked no 
So uh, yeah, we weren't able to reset that run, but it's okay. It's okay, it was only the first run. This one obviously is not gonna work because we have Buhan in the third rotation. But uh, yeah, guys, <laughs> if you do it properly and you aren't stupid like I am, then you can just reset your game. You know, close the app, reopen it, move some stuff around, and then use your items again, and uh, you'll be good to go. Okay, so now we have the same rotation as last time, except on the first turn. And uh, let's see what happens here. Okay, you know what? Let me give a few uh, orbs to my Kid Boo first. And now let's try the, the costume. Okay, so that's not bad. We just need a few more here. Come on. Ah, close, 16. Not good enough. Okay, so this is very important. Don't click cancel. Click OK. <laughs> that is the correct answer. And now we're back. All right, so let's change things up a little bit. Let's, um, uh, I guess I'll give, uh, I'll give this Int Orb to Vegeta and we'll use the costume once again. Hmm, not looking too bad. That's 17. Hmm, you know what? What if I give these to Kid Buu and that's gonna be oh still 17. okay so this time i am going to put buhan at the end and uh we will give these to vegeta we'll give this to kid boo and then pop our items and see how it goes Ooh, okay that's looking pretty good now it's not a full board but we're only two orbs away 21 orbs um, I think it's worth a shot, guys. I think it's worth a shot. So, yeah, 21 orbs for the Buhan. If we can get a crit, we could still theoretically kill Goku. This is going to help as well. That's going to be 2 million. Okay. And Buhan gets 24.5 million. Please crit. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> that was so close. That was so close. If that was a crit, Goku would be so dead. Like, super, super dead. That sucks. Um, Boo and Trunks. Definitely not the move. Reset again. So, to save you guys the pain, I skipped through about 10 resets. But we finally got a nice rotation once again. Vegeta, Boo, and Kid Boo. Um, so, let's see what happens here. Okay, so, Manaka. Costume. Number one, costume number two, and ugh, man, decent, but not good enough. Yo, I actually did it again. How? Twice in the same video, how did I click cancel again? <laughs> I hate myself. Oh my god, yo. We actually got the same rotation again. Thank you, RNG gods, man. You know what? Before I say that, let's see what happens with the items first. Because they could still screw me here. Oh, never mind. That's good. That was nice. Okay, number two. Let's try this. I'll use the item first. And then we can uh, give away one of the orbs. And then I'll use the second one. Will that make a difference? 21. I'll take 21. You know what? It's not a full board, but I will take 21. Because last time we were so close, we just needed a crit. So I am banking on the Buhan to crit this time. Come on, man. 25.8. Take three. Third time's the charm. All right, guys. Third time is the charm there you go and then he'll take that one and now we pop our items Ooh, okay okay come on just the fizz ones just the mm, there we go that's it this is the one 23 orbs full board the moment that i've been waiting for let's go
30 million. Come on, 30 million. With the crit, and Goku is dead. Now, for anybody confused about why, if you hit for 99 million, like max damage, max damage, why yours didn't kill Goku, it's because the 99,999,999 damage is actually just a visual cap, okay? That's the most damage they can display in this game for some reason, but it's not the actual damage dealt to the enemy. So if I do, you know, 9999999 and you do the same number, we're actually doing different amounts of damage to Goku. Like my hit with the crit might have done like 210 million, while yours maybe did 120 or something like that, okay? So not all max damage hits are created equal. So I guess the more important thing to pay attention to is your actual attack stat before the hit, right? So there we go, guys. Done with the int EZA Buhan. All five missions cleared. There are our rewards. Was it worth it? I don't think so, but I'll take it. I'll take it. And like I said, guys, you don't have to use Buhan. You could use Cell. You could use Tech Broly, Fizz Boo Tanks, um, even Fizz Launch, and a few others. Just be patient, use the same strategy, or something different. I've seen other people not use Candy Vegitos and still do fine, but I find the Candy Vegitos method, the nuking method, to be the most consistent, I guess. I mean, no matter what you do, it's still gonna be a major pain in the ass, unless you get really, really lucky. Like, it's possible to do it on the first attempt, to do it on the first turn, but most people aren't gonna be that lucky, that blessed, right? So uh, yeah, guys, that is the video. You know what? Before we go, I do want to see... Actually, maybe not. I feel like I've suffered enough today, and... Ah, fine, I'm curious. I'm really curious. Okay, so we are going to jump into the int stage here because I want to see how long it takes me to kill Goku with the Fizz launch. Because I know a lot of people are going to have access to her since she is a much more common unit than any of the other attackers so uh, yeah we're gonna go with double vegetos and let's take out the buhan for the launch here uh there she is and for the rest of the team we'll do this gohan let's uh throw in the weiris oh there he is and for the final slot i'm actually gonna use the sr ox king because he is a 30 percent support for DB Saga, and also has Guidance of the Dragon Balls, which is a 20% link, right? So, um, he's actually a pretty good linking partner for the launch here. And yeah, let's give it a shot. Oh, let's switch the item to Tapura Cookie. And that's the setup, guys. Hopefully, this doesn't take too long. I don't actually know why I'm putting myself through this again since I'm already done. Like, I already got all the missions cleared. I guess it's just in the name of science. Ooh, okay, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. This is exactly what we want. We got Ox King, we got Launch, we got the Gohan. All right, so we got the Launch transformation animation. See, it's a really nice animation, but if you're doing multiple resets, and watching the animation over and over again, it could get a little annoying, right? But uh, anyways, let's give a couple orbs to Ox King first. Um, the Burra Cookie, don't fail me. Oh my god. Bruh. Yo, okay, hold on. Let me try try another one. See if we can change those. Ah, uh, never mind. Okay, so I thought maybe the, the rainbow ones could change to Fizz as well, so we get 23 instead of 22, but this is good. This is very good. All right, so if we can get, you know, some good RNG, if we can get at least, maybe even three supers would be enough. Let's see what happens here. All right, so she's getting 8.3 mil. That's one crit. There's the additional super. Come on, you got this. One more. Yo, please, please. Third super. No! There's the transformation. And... Cookie time. Not bad, okay. Cookie number two. Uh, I reset it because, like, who knows when 
we're gonna get a rotation like this again, right? So we gotta make this one count. We gotta try to get at least like 21, 22 orbs. Okay, so I'm going to give one orb to Kid Boo. Let's try this again. There we go. 23 orbs. Okay, so boom, 23. It's not gonna get better than this. It's not gonna get better than this. So if this doesn't work out, I'm out. I'm good. Okay, 9 million. Nice crit. Additional super. One more. One more. This, this should do it. This should do it. Yes! Yes! Okay, so if you guys didn't know, um, Goku has 200 million HP, right? So each of the hits with a crit did about 70 something. Non-crit was 60, but that still adds up to over 200 million. So but there it is, guys. You don't actually need three supers or four supers from launch. You need three good supers with at least like one or two crits and uh, that will be enough as you guys saw. So um, I'm glad, yo, I'm glad that I stuck to it. I'm glad that I kept trying because that was pretty rewarding. I mean, not like in terms of actual in-game reward, just for my personal sense of accomplishment. I feel pretty good right now. Okay, so there you go, guys. That is today's video. We are done with the combat simulation event until the next one comes out, which I think is Other World Warriors, right? Something like that. Anyways, I don't want to think about it for another few days. Good luck on your runs. Let me know in the comments down below who you guys used to beat Goku within two turns and get those stones. Um, if you guys use launch, you guys have my respect. And yeah, as always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.